Hey guys, it's Kevin Davis from Your Exceptional Life, creator of the Vacation Rental Profit Method. I'm just back from a little shopping trip, so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to talk about maximizing your guest experience. What we want guests to have is the best, excuse me, best experience that they can uh, for their vacation so that we can make sure that they enjoy it, so they make sure they're super happy, and in turn, will continue to come back to us and rent our place. So I've gone through and I've, I've gone through and done my punch list. I did a Periscope on it the other day. It's up to uploaded to YouTube uh, as well. You can check that out on your exceptional life. Uh, but I wanted to just go through just a few items. This will give you an example. Excuse the mess if you see any mess behind me. Uh, I am still staying here. I'm leaving tomorrow. So, uh, but this will sort of walk you through some of the things that I look for whenever I'm going through my guest experience. So I'll flip the camera around and show you. So basically, I've gone and done a little bit of shopping. So I've got uh, some a new bowl set for my stove over there because they're getting a little bit nasty. This is about ten dollars. Uh, I've got some caulking which I can put in my shower to to double check some of that stuff, make it look better. I've got batteries for the front door lock. We use a Wi-Fi enabled lock, and uh, that will help to make sure that that works every time. Paint brushes and paint. I'm going to do a little touch-up paint in the closet and on the baseboards. Just some areas that I found. Got my new uh, candelabra bulbs that go over my uh, air hockey table, some Tupperware, and uh, I've got some uh, turners. We call them spatulas or turners uh, because I noticed that they were missing. We, uh, and then I've got, uh, this is for the bedroom. I noticed that it's difficult to plug your phone in, so we, uh, I'm gonna put this in the bedroom to make sure that people have chargers and can do their phone. Everybody has cell phones now. And I noticed the bands in my little home gym had gotten a little bit crappy, so I just bought some more bands to, to uh, replace those. And if you watched the other day, I did a little thing that showed that one of my shower curtain liners was getting a little bit crappy, so I put that on my list and I got that going. So Over here is our linen closet. And uh, you'll see I've got uh, little baby blankets, baby towels, that sort of thing. Uh, we try to provide enough linens that if anybody wants to change them during their stay, we have people that stay between, uh, most of our people are a, are a week at a time, but some of them are a month uh, or a couple of weeks, and so they may wanna change their own linens, do the laundry and that sort of thing, so we provide plenty of stuff in here. Another guest experience kind of item is uh, our game room. So let me flip that around. So our game room's a little bit different. Here in Florida, uh, you can see my light bulb is out right there, so I'll be replacing that. But here in Florida, most vacation rental homes use uh, their game room is put out in the garage, which if you can imagine in August with 100 degrees and 90% humidity can be kind of miserable for the kids playing out there. So when we uh, bought this house, we made sure that we put this stuff in the living room. This is a second living room in our house. Our house plan works really well for this. so we. Uh, have stuff like TV, there's a Wii, power, uh, PlayStation in there, there's videos, there's DVDs, all that sort of thing. So basically we are maximizing our guest experience for families, which is our target. And we basically, we target families. And so with this second living room, one of the things that we want to do is make sure that the kids can have just as much fun as the parents and vice versa. You go to the theme parks and it's pretty crazy. And uh, so we make sure that the kids can be separated, parents can sort of get in there and watch Netflix watch TV, whatever they want. The kids can stay in here, play games, do all that, and there's a little bit of separation. Uh, as you can see, this is our other, excuse the mess again, this is our other living room, so the parents have their own living room here. Let me show you just one thing that is sort of weird, but uh, I do. Every switch in the house, every light switch, is going to have um, a label on it. If you've done a lot of vacation rentaling uh, or if you've stayed at places like that, you'll notice a lot of times that it's really difficult to know which light switch does what. So it's just a, just a simple thing that I do to make sure that people know which switch goes what. It's just very simple, saves two seconds for each person, uh, but they know exactly what they are getting into when they flip a switch. So I just wanted to cover just a brief few things that we do here. I label everything. Uh, one of the things that I do is also give a full-on guest book. So I'll show you our Corvina Cove guest book. The guest actually gets this when they check in and uh, or before they check in and this is a hard copy. So I send this to them when they uh, make the final payment a couple weeks out so they'll have all this together. So we just go through absolutely everything from check-in, check-out times, uh, where to stay, what the rules are, what to do if you run out of propane, how to start to get the uh, grill, 
uh, specific things for dog owners that sort of do to try to maximize our guest experience. So uh, I hope that helps. I wanted to just show you a few things that we do and uh, that you can do just to tweak that guest experience. Because if you have high, happy guests, you'll have return guests and good reviews, which is critical to your success in vacation rentals. So hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.